Australia just to drive for bleeding jungle. Righto, oh, Elf, if you want to pee. <laughs> Gotta be careful around here. This is crocodile country we're in now. <laughs> Come on, Ricky, there are no crocodiles in these parts. They've been seen. Still, a few crocs wouldn't bother old Alf, eh, Alf? A tough old Brit like him. We're safe enough here. I mean, sitting in this truck like Oh, too right. I mean, if it's dangerous, we shouldn't be here, should we? What, are you scared, Alf? No. No, I, was, I wasn't thinking of myself. I mean, there was, we've got the women here, see? Mm. Listen, you don't worry about a few crocs, Alf. They're all right. He's a good old boy. Why do they say, don't go near them, then? Keep away from them? Well, it's not because he doesn't like us, Elf. He likes us. He likes us the way we like steak. <laughs> sharks he's frightened of. Shut up! Well, the sharks like the crock, isn't it? He likes us like we like fish and chips. Look, I'm busting. Over there. <clears throat> hey, listen. Give you a little tip, Elf. If you've never been near a crock before, watch your legs. <laughs> You're frightening Mr. Garnet. No. Frighten an old warrior like him? Get out of it. I'm not frightened. There's nothing to be frightened of. Oh, she's never been croc hunting. Neither of you. Oh, you don't know everything I do. Now, I can arrange a day's hunting for you, if you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I would like it, but see, I don't think I'll have time, you know, what with the, red, the wedding arrangements. I mean, I've got to think of her. Listen, it'll only be for a day. Hey, I take you, Arthur. Only, uh, you don't want a crowd. You see, the croc will not come out when there's a crowd. She gets confused. Yeah, well, see, uh, i got this chest of mine anyway, and <coughs> with the heat out here, well, it could do for me. Oh, that's not going to bother Al. No, well, I've got my leg. See, so you know that, Arthur. That's right, Pat. That leg of mine. Listen, we're not going to walk there, Al. No, but I wouldn't want to let you down with it. You know, oh. Let me down? You've got to be joking. Oh, oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Going back in. <laughs> you can't. Don't understand English, you see. Um, hello. Hello, John John. <laughs> you, black man. Me, white man. Understand he? Me, a black man, own me across big water. <laughs> He do my shopping. He make my tea. Tea, understand he? <laughs> he very good boy. Me from England. Home of great white queen. You see her on the telly? She come from sky. He big white bird. <laughs> Look, me come here and crocodile. Pew, pew. Crocodile, understand he? For handbag, for my missy. She, my woman. You have woman? Bugger up, you old fool. <laughs> you got work to do. Get hit? Understand he? Oh, 
I'll go behind the bush. When I put my head out, you call him. Oh, don't give him heart attack. <laughs> it's all right. It's only Pappy a mash No, Ricky, don't. It's only a joke. It could frighten him. It could give him a heart attack. It really could. He's an old man. I'll do it. It'll be good for a laugh. It's all right. Just a laugh, that's yeah. all. You've got to have a laugh now and again. Yeah. Shh. to know. Not my fault, is it? Someone yelled crocodile. I had to act fast. I didn't know it was him. I mean, they move fast, them buggers. <laughs> <laughs> said so himself, like grease lightning, they are. He said so. There's women and children. That's all I had time to think. People are in danger. That's all I had in my mind. Oh, you move fast, Alpha. I had to, Alpha. I had to take the bugger out quick. <laughs> Only had a piece of wood. I had no time to think, Arthur. Well, you don't, do you? I'm not in a situation like that. I didn't know it was him falling about. Very silly thing to do, if you ask me. Ought to know better. <laughs> no, I heard Arthur yell out, Mrs. Ollenberry scream. I saw the crocodile and bang, I was at him. Just a piece of wood, Arthur. That's all I had. Yep. Small piece of wood. I mean, people hunt them things, don't they, with guns. It wasn't a real crocodile. Yeah, but I didn't know that, did I? It was only poor Ricky. Well, no, fair dues. He didn't know it was Ricky. He thought it was a crocodile. Right. I felt proud. I must say that I felt proud of him. Yeah, well, got to have a laugh, eh, Al? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't you start with me. Don't you start with me, Mrs. Mooney? Ricky. That house deal I've been telling you about, my sister's house. It's 20 grand will give us the deal. Listen, it's worth 120. It's a gift any way you look at it. It's a neat deal. It's a 100 grand profit cut two ways. You want in for 10? <laughs> well, you know me, am I simple? Yeah, of course there'll be clauses. Yeah, all our way. Listen, they're old people. They won't last long. A few years. Hang on. Hello? Listen, of course I can swing it. She's my sister. She trusts me. Listen, I can't talk now. Come over, eh? It's London property. Yeah. Yeah, it's climbing all the time. Yeah, look at the prices. It's offshore. Yeah, look, come over. Right. Cigar. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Got a light? <laughs> nice house, isn't it? Not bad. Food's good too. Not bad. Mm. For nothing. Right? <laughs> 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 <Huh? laughs> Happy? What? Have a nice trip over? On the plane, was it comfortable? I sent two good tickets, two good seats. It's a long way. You gotta be comfortable, your age, eh? Well, in club class, you got all that leg room, haven't you? We wasn't in club class. We were in economy. Bloody cramped it was, too. I know you wasn't in bloody club class. I caught you, haven't I? I've been down my luggage. You've been through no, my belongings. Don't come, the old innocent. You've been through my case. I sent two clubs over and you traded them in for economies and you stuck to the rest. You've been through my personal no, belongings. No, don't come, the old injured party with me, sunshine. I have caught you. No, no, you're the one who's been caught. You've been... <laughs> yes, you've been down my belongings. Arthur, you're a witness. He's been poking about in my personal private belongings. There's laws against in that. In my house, in my house. Anybody. Searching for things in my own in house. Anybody's house. 
that's private property. That case is my personal private property. What's going on in here? I just caught a thief. Fraud, fraud, he's had me over. He's been in my room. My room. What have you been doing? What have I been doing? Ask him, ask him what he's been doing. He's been down my, my bag. He's broken into my case. I'm the injured party. Don't let him come, the old innocent. That case was locked and hidden. I did it. You hid your case in my house. Well, I'm sharing a room, and I? Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Nothing against you, but I'm in better safe than sorry. Hey, look, you can't blame me. He's been into it. He's found it. Poking about in there. I mean, trying to find people's personal belongings and breaking into I was them. just having a look. Just having a look. Just, it's my house. Just having a look. That case was under the bleeding floorboards. <laughs> I can look under floorboards in my own house. Sod off. Two club tickets I bought, eh? These are economies, bloody economies. He's had me over. That's how he brought his friend over. Who invited him? I didn't. I've had to put him up. I've had to feed him. He's another mouth. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not blaming mind. you. It's him. <laughs> Sticking me with strangers. Filling my house with strangers. He's not a stranger. He's my friend. How do I know who he is? I don't even know who you are. I open my house to strangers. I act the genial host, and he sticks me with strangers. How do I know who these people are? No offence. I said I was sorry. I'm not blaming you. Well, I'll go. Well, I'd sooner rewit. He's here to marry your sister. Right, then get a priest, get him married, then out back to where they bloody came from. <laughs> <laughs> now look what you've done. Not her, I didn't mean her. I'm sorry about it. Oh, not him, I didn't mean him. <laughs> <laughs> she got nothing to cry about. I'd be good to her. I brought her over here. I've offered to buy their house. Buy my house? Lend you the money. <laughs> Did you say buy my house? Lend you the money for it. Listen, why are we arguing, eh? We're all family, for Christ's sake, eh? Come on. Let's have a drink. Hey, what's a misunderstanding, eh? We are family. We are all family. There's no time for long faces, eh? We are going to have a wedding, eh? <laughs> Brother-in-law. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Johnny Walker, Black Label. <laughs> Yeah. He got stacks of it down there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good health, Alpha. Good health. Good. Good. <laughs> Does he know you're drinking it? No. <laughs> With any luck, yeah. he'll be home before he finds out. <laughs> We'll have a fresh one tomorrow, right? <laughs> Look out, someone's coming. Wait a minute, let me go over it again. Yeah. What's the outlay so far? Two airfares from London. Two clubs and my ex is feeding them here. And the crafty old bugger's done a deal on the tickets, brought his friend over and stuck to about $1,800. <laughs> of your money. Our money. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sly old bludger. He won't have to watch it. Anyway, this house deal, it's your sister's, isn't it? Yeah, she's me sister, but we're not close. I mean, I haven't seen her for over 30 years. You could have knocked me down with a feather when I heard from her. Listen, I don't mind telling you, I nearly threw the letter away. I mean, I don't want to hear about relations, all their bloody problems, do I? Then I see this bit about the house. There they are. Her and this decrepit old son she wants to marry in a property worth £120,000 <laughs> sterling, which they can buy for 20. So we advance them the money? Well, we, we give them a mortgage. It's a good investment, right? I mean, neither have got very long to live. Uh, make him sign some papers. Uh, you know, uh, normal securities governing the loan. Plus some special small print, favouring yours truly as a dear devoted brother sort of thing, which they won't want to read, cos I'm a close relation who can be trusted. <laughs> then we sit back, look forward to a double funeral, eh? <laughs> Another thing, he's got a blackie living with him there now. How do we get him out? We don't. We put more in. Fill the house with blackies. <laughs> Make it look like we're nice people. Lower the land values of all the houses on the street, then buy them up even cheaper. Drive the whites out. Then buy <laughs> by Blackbird. <laughs> One little snag. Some of these old folks live to ripe old ages. Oh, yeah. Well, just have to sit it out. 
Let's hope God's good and takes them early. <laughs> this bloody beer's hot. Oh, jeez, I forgot. I've got some out here. Over here, Dougie, in the fridge. Bloody deceit. This house is full of deceit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you're right. Alf, you know that economy ticket what you said you got cheap from that bucket shop the one I paid you 200 pounds for <laughs> yeah well um I ain't finished totting up yet Arthur here you don't think that I my friend <laughs> Oh, I feel dizzy. Oh, I feel like... I feel like I'm being sucked in. Oh, I can't look. That Ricky's a crook, right? Bent is a three-pound note, right? Well, you try telling her that. She won't believe what we heard. She thinks I'm making it up. Never mind her. You've got to think about yourself. You're right, Arthur. <coughs> Too soft with her. Take his money. Him and that Mooney, take their money. Don't sign nothing over here. Do it with an English lawyer. Don't mess about with these crooks over there. Yeah, criminal blood, it runs right through them out here, doesn't it? <laughs> Buy the house with their money, sell it to the insurance company. They'll give you a large lump sum, let you live in the house till your demise, then they take back the house. You ask Johnson, he knows all about it. Well, let them two, let them two clowns, Mooney and Ricky, let them whistle for the bloody money, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're likely to let you get away with that. What, them two? The powers to be, see, it's not strictly legal, Alf. Yeah, but what they're trying to do to me ain't strictly legal, neither. Well, yes, Alf, it is. See, that's why you have the small print, to make it strictly legal. They print it so small as possible, so that the human eye can hardly read it. So what do you mean I'd have to give them the 20,000 quid back? Not right away. Be as fly to them. They put it in the bank, collect the interest. You're going to be in England, dead over there. They'll be looking for a lawyer. You get legal aid. Old age pensioner. Can't read or write. Ignorant. Don't understand finances. It could be years before it's settled. You could be ill, lose your memory, don't know where the bank is. Make it your senile, even. <laughs> and with a bit of luck, you could die before it's settled. Oh, no. Dear Lord, no! First chance I ever get me hands on some money, and I'm going to die if I have a chance to spend it. It's not bloody fair. You can be allowed to take it with you. <laughs> what do you think of Australia? What you've seen of it so far? Well, I mean, for, for convicts, you've done pretty well. Right, Arthur? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've done better than that lot up Wormwood Scrubs, eh? I mean, you wouldn't go to Wormwood Scrubs for holiday or get married, would you? No, it, it was hard when they first came here. Had to be hard, had to be. They were dangerous criminals. Mm. But you see what a good short, sharp shot does, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're not all descended from criminals, you know. Of course not. It was all the screws and the families. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, credit where it's due. This is the best open prison I've ever seen. <laughs> So, are you Ricky's sister? Oh, glad to meet you. <laughs> and you're from England. <laughs> yes, yeah. Do you have to go back there? <laughs> oh, I suppose you do. Our government's getting very fussy who they let in these days. <laughs> well, I mean to say your age would go against you to, you know, if nothing else did. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you claim asylum? <laughs> oh, it must be awful living in England with all those royals stealing all your money. <laughs> but are your royal family too? Just as long as we don't have to pay anything towards their keep. 
We've got our own corruption out here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, mind you, it is honest corruption. And <laughs> none of your bloody English hypocrisy, you know. Oh, yes, yes, we're getting very fussy who we let into Australia these days. We are no longer the refuge for the rest of the world's failures. <laughs> no more whinging thumbs, I should say not. I've only come here to get married. Married. Oh, that'd do the trick. <laughs> you marry an Aussie and they'll have to let you stay. <laughs> I'm marrying an Englishman. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Which one is he? I'm forever <laughs> blowing for all. Him. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. <laughs> Don't joke, Don't be Ah, you poor dear. Enjoy yourself, Cal. You've met my business acquaintance, Moody. He's coming in with me to help you buy a house. Yeah. There you go. Only two pleased to help you out. I'll bet you are. We're going to form a little consortium. Just the two of us. Well, but I shall have to watch the small print then, shall I? Don't let on, Alf. <laughs> small print, small print. You don't have to worry about small print. Leave all the paperwork to me. Look, I know business. Do I know business? Leave no business. You just enjoy your house. You be a proud property owner, eh? <laughs> my brother-in-law. This is my brother-in-law. Charge your glasses and drink to my brother-in-law. Alf Garner, a wonderful human being. And my sister, hey. The little girl he's going to marry. Happy couple. A ah, wonderful couple, aren't they? Hey, hey. Come on, now all dance and enjoy yourselves. Hey, Donnie, stick the music on. <laughs> <laughs> They're all bloody mixed here. It's probably a nest of IRA fundraising. <laughs> Not a shop the bloody lot of them. Yeah. Get the money out of them first. Muck in with them until you get the mortgage. <coughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about your mix, yeah, Arthur. Yeah. They know how to drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair dues. You've got to give them that. Right. Oh. All right, all right. <coughs> Ice King, Queen Jack. <laughs> this is him, um, Monsignor. You're the lucky man who's going to marry this lovely woman. It's a mixed marriage, though, I hear. Normal mixture, man and woman. <laughs> You're not a Catholic. No, I'm not. I'm English. Yes, I know. <laughs> and so is Mrs. Hollingbrook. And she's a good Catholic. And the church is not pleased when a good Catholic contracts a marriage outside. We wasn't thinking of getting married outside. <laughs> Monsignor. <laughs> I think we've got a talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm trying to explain you. See, this, this is ours. We own Australia. <laughs> England. <laughs> Captain Cook. He was English, this Englishman, and he went out. He found it. He got a little great flag and he stuck it in there. <laughs> Another possession for Her Majesty the Queen to own. King George the Third. No, Majesty Queen Elizabeth the First. Was her what got the empire? Oh, and Drakey. I mean, he helped. <laughs> no, he was King George the Third. He sent Cook out here. He'd been here before Cook when he first found it, but when he got back, George, that's King George, said to him, he said, "What's that Australia like?" And Captain Cook said, "Well, it's nothing much." I I've shoved a flag up there, he said, but I don't think it's worth another trip. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we found it first. Oh, yeah. We did, yeah, yeah. Mind you, we, we, you had our permission to live here, or you like, you, like, you was our colonials, see? No, 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 we give them own rules, see, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you see, King George didn't send Captain Cook back out here again because he wanted it as a proper colony. See, he agreed with Cook when Cook said it was a bum hole of the world. <laughs> what he wanted, see, is what he told Cook, somewhere to dump all his rubbish. 
tip. Yes, sir. A tip, yeah, yes. Yeah. Like a sort of rubbish tip. We've got a tip for the, for the rest of the empire. No, mother. Leather. Honestly, <laughs> but what I said is right. I mean, it is ours. Oh, what yeah. about Ireland? What about Ireland? That was ours. Yep. That belonged to the Irish. Now, you... We found that. If you read your history book, son, you might learn something. Sit down and shut up. Ireland. <laughs> Ireland was ours too. We found it. Right. It was, it was given. It was given to was it Earl of Essex by Queen Elizabeth the first. Was it one? That was Elizabeth. Oh yeah, that was Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he gave, she gave it him as a present. Not that he bloody wanted it. <laughs> he got home. He said to his wife, the Countess of Essex, he said, "Yeah, he said the Queen has given me Ireland." She said, "I thought she's supposed to like you." <laughs> You swap it in for something else. <laughs> I mix them I in. Mean, they're not proper English. The same right. with your taffies and your jocks. None of them are proper English. They're just the wreckage of the Spanish and French armadas what swam ashore <laughs> after Drake and Nelson had sunk the body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, 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 I'm oh, bloody, do you? Oh, if you wasn't my brother in law, well, I ain't. Hey, Alf, hey. The money, the money, hey. Our investment oh, Our investment. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Hey, hey, hi, you're a car, Alf. You are a car. He's a car, isn't he, Alf? Oh, come on, Alf. He's going to have a drink, this. This is your party. It's in your honour, Alf. Oh, yeah, boys, boys are smiling. All the world hey. seems great. Hey. Monsignor, you're in the bleating frock. We don't want none of that. Bloody Irish rubbish. Here, let's have a good old English song. Row Britannia, Britannia rolls the way. Shoot me like an Irish soldier. Do not hang me like a dog. Land of our on the scaffold high. All of them will fail if we die. Oh, white clips over Dover. Oh, blimey. It's good to be home again. Safe in England. Oh. That's it. Oh. Nothing like your own bed, is there? Oh, dear. That's why in sickness and in health I'll say I'll do. 